Troy, you're tied at 10 at halftime. What changed, you think, in the second half? Well, they're a very, very good team. I thought we played with great effort, Jim, and their guys did too. And, uh, you know, one squad made a couple of more plays, I think especially down about the last 20 minutes of the game. Did it seem like it was harder to move the football for your club in the second half? They're really, really good, and uh, and yet again, I mean, I thought we played with great effort, and uh, you know, need to make a few more plays on each side of the ball. Defensively, you had them on a fourth and ten, they converted, and then the third and eleven, and it seemed like if you could get them off the field, maybe it's a different game. Perhaps, you know, and then maybe being able to convert a fourth down too. Yes, sir. Okay, Troy, thanks so much. Thank you. Our defensive player of the game, Lakota Wills, eight tackles and three tackles for loss. Second half, what do you think the difference was in terms of trying to slow them down? Um, I mean, we always come out with you know a fierce mentality, and we're always trying to slow everybody down. Uh, they came out and they played a great game, and uh, we just didn't get the job done. Lakota, when they went to that hurry, hurry offense, did it seem to throw you guys off a little bit? It seemed like that's when they had their best success. Uh, yeah, Boise State's a great team, and they, uh, they came out with the tempo. We were expecting the tempo. Uh, we just didn't get the job done. You had two situations in the second half. They converted a fourth and 10, and then converted a third and 11. Maybe if you get them off the field, it's a different outcome? Yeah. All right, Lakota, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Our offensive player of the game, Taven Bordeaux, 18 carries, 67 yards. Could you notice any changes they may have made in the second half? It seemed like your offense had a tougher time getting going in the last two quarters. Um, I mean, we, we were doing our job. It's just we got to convert on some of those uh, short yardage, like third and fourth downs. Um, you know, a lot of that's on me, but we just got to make those conversions. It seemed like it was a little tougher to get to the outside for your club. Maybe they scouted, I'm sure they scouted CU and saw how easy you guys got to the outside. Did you sense that tonight? Uh, yeah, they did a little check on Cade. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they did. Um, I mean, I, I got my eyes on the inside for the most part. But uh, whatever they did, it, they did pretty well. When you think about this game, you know, you have a chance to go 1-0 and in the conference. It's only one loss, but how important is it to kind of keep this one loss to here and not let what happened tonight push into next week's game against San Jose State? Um, it's very important. That's a, that's a real test of a, of a good team to show how you come back from a, from a loss. Uh, so I think the way we come back from this loss is going to show how good we really are. All right, Taven, thanks so much. Thank you.